good everybody, it's Gorilla Frilla, and um, this will be my first commentary for Legit COD. I got a search and destroy game on Karachi using the AK, slide of hand, marathon, ninja, and me and my friend Glenn were trapping that fool, just because we like to do that on this map because we're assholes. And <clears throat> the team we're playing, in the beginning they seemed so stupid, and then like towards the end they kind of got smart but stayed semi-stupid. It was, I don't know, it was weird. You'll see. See how they kind of like rush us at our spawn? Which when you get the bomb plant, you should never really do. Just stay around the bomb and do your job defending that. And you should, it should be easy. Like these two guys had the right idea to stay back there. But me and Glenn were kind of team working. And uh, we got those two and then uh, that was just, I don't know. I feel like I should have got him with that RPG. But, um, he did like a super lunge at me. And don't forget to always destroy UAVs. So, right here, um, someone died over here. So, I checked this, uh, the right side over by that, that big white truck. And then I see that guy up there. So, take him out real quick. And normally in Search and Destroy, I'd run Marathon, but I'd slide a hand on this class. Just, uh, I'm not, this is before I started experimenting with a lot of classes. Um, because I'm 10th Prestige right now. And, I, I've been 10th Prestige for a while, but I was more worried about unlocking all this stuff, because I am legit, so unlocking camos and all these different things. And then so recently, since I have like pretty much everything unlocked, I've just been experimenting, making like the best cl classes, and in the long run it comes out, it ends up basically being like a game battles class, or always like the best classes, like a Marathon Scar with FMJ, or Marathon Tar 21 with FMJ, and Sign Power Ninja, of course. And then, uh, yeah, so like, AK-47, um, if this is, cause this is an older game, I have a, okay, yeah, I have a sucky TV, so I couldn't see that guy for, it. like, there's no chance in hell I would have seen him no matter what. But anyways, um, the Marathon, I can't remember what I was saying. Um, Marathon on Assault Rifles is very good in pretty much every objective game mode, uh, Domination, you get to your flags faster, especially demolition. Actually, I've been playing a lot of demolition with my friends, and I found that marathon is pretty much the best perk to have. And um, <laughs> I get so lucky right here, and I turn on that guy with the RPG, and then uh, get this right shot with the last bullet in my clip. And I check the corners, and you might have noticed I did like a little dip there. That was just like a, a premature drop shot, just getting ready in case someone's around that corner waiting for me, because I don't have a silencer, so. Whenever you play without a silencer, you pretty much have to anticipate someone looking for you. And this is Modern Warfare 2's fail hip fire. And I don't understand that. This guy's already red, and I was spamming that corner with my AK. And luckily, I had the uh, best teammates uh, left alive. So um, I'm just very grateful for that. Right now, I'm 7 and 2. The guy on the other team's like 12 and 2 or something. But uh, we flipped this around, and one two right now, so we're losing, and uh, they only got one one lead ahead of us. And right shoulder rushed on me. He must have had marathon. See how important marathon is. Marathon the ability, the mobility on a right shield is terrible. But that guy was already there, and the time it took me to get there, and he had a shield. So <laughs> marathon's important. If I had marathon on this class, I would have been there well before he was. And I see on the map this guy, and uh, I'm kind of just looking back and forth because I hear someone, and that is called connection advantage. I'm assuming I had host because this was this is almost impossible without host. Even a really good connection that is extremely lucky right there. Um, just because my bullets registered instantly, pretty much on that guy, and normally in any situation where you're not host, eh. I, it's, uh, it's unlikely, unless a person shoots you two times and then starts shooting the wall next to you. <clears throat> right there, guy rushed on me. I think I might have heard him. I'm not sure. I have the volume turned down right now, but there's a possibility that I heard him. And um, I shot him. He went down to either the last stand, final stand, probably final stand. And um, I went straight to hip fire. After after I shot the amount of bullets it takes to kill someone, and you should know that. you Once you use a gun enough, you learn, like, the amount of time it takes to kill someone on a, on host, on four, on three bar, on two bar, and you understand your gun a lot more. And I understood I put them right amount of bullets to kill them. So 
something was up. Um, so I just went to hit fire. Whenever you're in like a close range battle, it's good to start off aiming down sights, especially if you have sleight of hand pro. It's good to start off aiming down sights, and if if shit just gets kind of weird, um, go to hip fire because you'll be locked onto them like your little magnetism. That's what I call it. If you noticed, um, I'm s also I want to apologize real quick because I'm sick right now, and so I, I sound a little nasally. I just noticed that right now, but um. <laughs> There's like a certain magnetism you guys will probably notice when you go over someone, like you're uh, aiming down your sights and you kind of sweep over someone. Um, you'll feel like it stick on them for a second and like slows your sensitivity down super low and like sticks on them and wants it does it, it like wants to stay on that person. And what happens when you're hip firing? You're basically still and you already aimed down sights. You're locked in on them. When you go to hip fire, you're still going to be locked in on them. So when you're spraying those bullets, they are going to be a little bit more accurate. So <clears throat> aiming down sights in like a firefight, and then if it gets through close range and kind of you're you're circling around each other or whatever, it just gets a little hairy. Resort to hip fire. That's what I usually do. But um, starting off with hip fire never seems to work in this game. COD 4 is very useful, but in this game, even with steady aim, I don't really like starting off gunfights with hip fire. Um, always prefer aiming down sights, and then if I have to. <clears throat> good hip fire right there I turned on my turtle beaches that's why I was so far away from the bomb because I had a C4 on it and right there I heard him destroy my C4s assuming he had sit rep so I heard him plant the claymore so I was kind of hesitant going around that corner also so I kind of I peeked around if you notice right here I like hesitate and just poke the corner of my RPG around it and uh, get him as he runs away because he realized he didn't have enough time to defuse the bomb right there <clears throat> so right here we got the lead on them they stayed at two we jumped up two spots so it's three two um sorry about that i told you i'm sick i got the snifflies and i tried taking out the rushers right here or semi rushers there's like a super rusher that i was paying attention to that's why i didn't zoom right away because i kind of want to get a a lay for the land and um like i was talking about earlier how you kind of prematurely drop shot right there i saw him on the map I saw him moving in on the map, and uh, so I kind of dipped, and then he was actually there. So then I, f I went to, I just laid down, and kept shooting till he's dead. And right there, um, riot shielders. You always want to tag team riot shielders. If you ever see a riot shielder, and if your friend's battling with one, always help or call him out. Call out the riot shield. Be like, hey, there's a riot shielder right here. Um, help me out with them. Your friend will come. The right shooter is going to have to, he can only focus on one person, so he'll be looking one way while you can blow him up from the other with any explosives or maybe shoot him in the side or even just run past and knife him, but especially if he's getting shot at, his shield's going to be messed up, he won't be able to see anything. But uh, see you guys later, went 18 and 3 on Karachi with the AK, and uh, you'll be seeing more of me. Goodbye.